My mission is simple. I will help you to know everything about piping and piping components. Over six years professional field experience, I will share with you through my piping online training course, which I guarantee is the best training available for everyone working in oil and gas, power generating and offshore industries. Start learning about pipes, fittings, flanges, codes and standards, material inspections and testing, piping project management, sourcing strategies, material manufacturing and so 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 much more. Take this chance, enroll in my piping training course, receive your piping training certificate and start gaining cutting edge piping knowledge that will greatly advance your earnings and career possibilities. In this short video, I will introduce basic knowledge about pipes. We're going to talk about the main differentiation between pipes, what different types as well as steel grades you may come across when working with piping materials applied in the oil and gas industry. You will also get an important insight of how to determine what grade of steel should be chosen for unique and various fields of service application. And finally, I will provide information that you must know when talking about different pipe length as well as different end types. The very first question that should come to your mind is whether it's about a welded or a seamless pipe that is required. It makes a very big difference in terms of for example pressure rate or maximum heat a pipe is able to endure. However, if both welded or seamless production is accepted, it's better to choose a welded execution. Because a welded pipe you can always buy much cheaper and also the manufacturing process will be much faster compared to making seamless pipes. According to the World Steel Association, there are over 3500 different grades of steel, encompassing unique physical, chemical and environmental properties. What helps a lot is that we can group them into three main categories of steel, of which each group has its very own characteristics beneficial for different kinds of purposes. Beginning on the very left, you see a picture of carbon steel pipes. Then there are alloy steel grades and finally the group of stainless steels. Sometimes you will also hear people talking about black steel. When referring to black steel grades, carbon and alloy steel is what is meant. While when you hear someone say white steel, stainless steel is what is referred to. One very important information you should always keep in mind is that you must not, never ever, let the white steel, say stainless steel, get in close contact to the black steel grades. Especially when it's very high cost material such as for example duplex steel. Because this is what will happen. Yes, stainless steel is extremely corrosion resistant. But when carbon or alloy steel components are mixed without protection, say for example in one stuffed container for transportation, corrosion will for sure be happening. Hence, make sure those grades are shipped and stored separately. When separation is not feasible, then at least make sure the stainless steel is well protected. Here are a few pictures, so you get an idea how stainless steel should be protected from damage and especially contamination from other black steel grades. So the next time when you visit potential new manufacturing mills or a stockist warehouse, this is definitely something that must be inspected. You could very fast tell whether your supplier knows what he should be doing or not. Unfortunately, on many of my inspections around mills located in China and even Europe, 
have seen terrible situations where handling and storing of stainless steel grates are done in a very unprofessional way that will cause quality issues for sure. The same knowledge of course applies on final construction site. When trucks arrive to unload, tell the workers to unload and store white and black steel separately from each other. I will make a complete video on how to pick and inspect steel manufacturers and stockists to make sure your material supply chain will be seamless. Now let's get back to the topic of material grades. Let me introduce the most common ASTM steel grades you will often encounter when working with piping components. For carbon steel, very popular grades are such as grade B, grade 6 and X60 materials. For alloy material, it's often P5, P11, P12, P22 and P91. And for the group of stainless steels, it's often TP304, TP316 and 316L. Let me tell you for what application and environment what kind of steel grades are best to use. A carbon steel pipe is highly resistant to shock and vibration, making it perfect to transport water and other fluids under roadways. The high tensile strength in addition to its ductility allow carbon steel pipes to be used safely under high pressure conditions. Carbon steel performs very well in dry, rural atmospheres, but the rate of corrosion increases dramatically in high humidity environments, leading to corrosion failure of the metal. It is best to use carbon material for transporting oil and gas, transporting water and for high pressure applications. Now if we look at alloy steel grades, we can say that they are perfect when there is an environment having a combination of very high pressure and high temperatures. While stainless steel is used for high strength, toughness and its excellent corrosion resistance. For much deeper knowledge on the many material grades we can find in this giant industry, I would recommend you to enroll in my online piping training course, which you can find on my Piping Academy website. On this slide of my presentation, you can see the four typical end types of pipes, which are very important to indicate whenever you are working with steel pipes. The three most common ones are plain ends, beveled ends and threaded ends. While threaded end types are to be found on pipes having a rather small diameter. Let me also tell you something about length types for pipes, as you will find them in many product descriptions. You will find the letters DRL, which means double random length. A double random length can be a pipe of any random size between 11 and 13 meters. But please keep in mind that your standard 40 foot C container has only room until a maximum length of 12 meters. So when you need to ship double random length using a 40 foot container, make sure to order length only up to 11 meter 50 or 60, so it can perfectly fit in your container. Then there's SRL, which means single random length. A single random length can be a pipe for any size between 5 and 7 meters. And finally, there are fixed length pieces. A fixed length pipe is a specific size according to customer's requirements. Become an expert in your industry by visiting our Piping Academy website and enroll in the best online training course available for pipes and piping components. A real life industrial course on piping based on years of professional field experience. Here you can also learn a lot about piping projects management, so please make sure you check that out as you will greatly benefit from this program.
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more educational videos about piping.